Mrs. Vald. Have you found the answer? No answers today either. And the sun hangs low. Rita and Elaine are likely preparing dinner. I should be getting back. Long have I toiled in your shadow, but now I've taken all that once was yours. And in due course, I shall complete the one true magic. There he is! It's Oswald! You bastard! This, Oswald, is my answer. <laughs> Ever since that day, the fire has burned within my breast. Harvey, you took everything from me. Professor. Hey, Professor Oswald! Give me a sign. Are you alive in there? I'm fine. You gotta stay alert. I'm counting on you. There's light up ahead. Let's go. You are trying to escape from the prison. Healing great. We've done it! We've escaped that godforsaken prison! Don't celebrate yet. They know we've escaped. Then what do you propose we do next, Professor? And I'd like an answer before we freeze to death. The last part will be the hardest, escaping the island. The inspector's vessel should be docked at the pier, and yet... The warden likely told them about our escape. Let's see what we can learn about the situation. Come, we make for the ship. We are at the entrance of Bridget Isles. I look at the map. Yep, this is where we are, and this is probably where we have to go. Okay. We seem to have some skills which we can upgrade. Learn a skill for Oswald. Elemental, advanced. Hmm. Stroke of Genius grants yourself two attribute raising effects. Let's go with Lightning Bolt. It takes 30 job points. We currently have 46. Yes, let's learn it. Learn a variety of his skills to gain the upper hand in battle. Will surely do.
let's quickly see if our equipments are optimized so there's this very good option of optimizing yes and with emerald optimize we can't change this one okay cool latent power mm, okay let's do it in pursuit of knowledge and let's go with our lightning boy huh? strike them down you're finished hmm. I've seen worse methods Thinking time. Oh, we have latent power again. Okay. Let me show you. Huh? One to go. Did you hear? There are prisoners on the loose. Put everyone on patrol! Hunt them down! <clears throat> Damn, you were right. Even the inspectors have heard about us. What do we do now? Alter our plans. There's no other choice. We can't stow away on their ship now. We'll make other arrangements. Other arrangements? Uh, do you see another boat out here? There they are! Seize them! They found us! Professor, we've got company. That was inevitable. 
We have to prevent this from causing further commotion. Stay back! Stay back! Do I have to? Ugh. I'll slice you to bits! Now then. Pierce the wings of frost. once more and we'll get two boost point in the next turn. Pierce the wings of frost. Study harder. We have to find somewhere to hide. They'll run us down too quickly out here. There's a shack just there. Let's go. What's the plan, Professor? They're bound to catch us. We can't use the Inspector's ship as we planned. I'll need something else. Hmm. If you have any bright ideas, do share them. Quickly! I'm freezing my rocks off here. What did you just say? What? That I'm freezing my rocks off? That's it? You're a fantastic assistant, Emerald. Well, my freezing rocks are gonna save us? <laughs> no. The straw over there is. What could you possibly do with a bit of straw? If we have no ship, then we will make our own. Surely you're joking. Crossing the ocean on a boat of straw? Do you think us otters? Nay. We are human and have the intellect to prove it. Storm of ice. Arise. I give you our ice boat. A foundation of buoyant straw beneath a thick sheet of ice. What? You made a boat! I can hardly believe my eyes. <laughs> this might actually work. I once heard of a town blanketed in snow and divided by a river. The people there laid batches of straw down in the river and splashed water atop them until an icy bridge formed. Entire horse-drawn carriages crossed over the ice bridges without incident. And I wouldn't have recalled it if not for you. Yes. Yes, that should prove seaworthy. And there's no chance of the boat melting in this cold. You can board a canoe from up here to move across water, okay? So can we move it now, yeah? Cool.
I need a plan. The plan is to go for fireball with a boost. Fire. Burn. All according to plan. Do I have to? What a letdown. <laughs> well, I made it out of that alive. I have to say, the boat's surprisingly sturdy. Of course it is. Do not doubt my ice magic. In the season. The current should carry us to the mainland. But one thing still worries me. They'll continue their pursuit, even if we manage to reach the mainland. In my initial plan, I hope to sink the inspector's vessel before we reach shore. It was to look like an accident, and I'm sure we were presumed dead. Clearly, we won't have that luxury now. Hmm. I've been meaning to ask you something, Professor. Go on. You were brought in for killing your wife and child. Did you do it? That doesn't concern you. I've been on Frigid Isle a long time. I've met more prisoners than I care to remember. But you... You're not like the rest of them. No. There's something different about you. Stop, Professor. Huh? I said stop. <sighs> I can't do this. I can't go with you. A boat of ice? Is this some sick joke? It's four days' journey to the mainland, if we're lucky. <sighs> we'll likely freeze to death by then. You can take your chances aboard this frozen dinghy, but I... I will be commandeering the inspector's ship. That won't be easy with everyone out there looking for you. They'll deploy fleets from Frigid and the mainland, trapping you at sea. You've a better chance of crossing safely on something small like this. <laughs> well, I won't know that until I try, will I? Do what you will. So long, Oswald. Don't go M. I won't mourn him. This was always, shall we say, a friendship of convenience. So we continue to move forward, okay? Oh, M is still there. Can I convince him? Hmm. Goodbye. Okay, you can't convince him. Let's go forward then. Water ship. Beautiful. Ah. There he is. Damn. 
watch the boat now I uh, uh. I said to it now I have very little patience Oswald was right. I'll never make it out on this ship. I'll just arrest me again. Only one thing left to do. They made me mine Phosphor till I spit blood. So, I might as well put it to good use. <laughs> Farewell, Professor. Only one puzzling fact remained. Emerald. Why did you set fire to the Inspector's ship? His actions drew the attention of the guards, allowing my small boat to escape unnoticed. And not only that, I doubt anyone is chasing me now. They have no way of knowing that Emerald and I split up. They're likely to assume that I was also aboard the Inspector's sinking ship. Emerald's final act was utterly... <sighs> well, some mysteries never get solved. An emptiness has settled in my breast. Emerald. So I keep rowing, as far as my arms will take me. Wherever that may be. Welcome home, dear. Rita. You must be exhausted. It wasn't so bad. Oh, Oswald. How I long to be with you, to ease your pain. To get you looking presentable again. To make you some goulash with Elena. Rita, I... Alas, my dear, I cannot. You have unfinished business. So you cannot stay here. For it is not yet time. I love you, my dear. Rita. You're awake. Welcome to the small fishing village of Cape Cold. <sighs> You're one of the prisoners from Frigid Isle, aren't you? Found you collapsed on the beach, nearly frozen to death. Only the faintest hint of breath in you. In my 30 years looking after this little finger of land, I've seen three prisoners wash up from Frigid. But you're the first to do so alive. <laughs> you're a quiet one. Has your mouth frozen shut as well? I need food. You're 
a scholar, are you not? <laughs> Forgive me, but I could not resist a look through your personal effects. I too am a scholar, though not one of any renown, mind. Here, take this robe. It's a damn sight better than your prison rags, eh? Thank you kindly, good man. Come now. This is the least I could do. But from here on out, I ask that you lead an honorable life. from me. This fire in my breast shall never be extinguished, and you shall die by my hand. I swear it. Oswald's escape from Frigid Isle was a success. The soil beneath his feet sings of liberty stoking the fire within him. Bitterness and rage propel him towards one man, Harvey, the murderer of his wife and child. Revenge. End of chapter 2